Dementia affects more than 50 million people worldwide, and this number is expected to triple by 2050. Biotech company Roche is combining its unique expertise in both diagnostics and medicines development alongside a deep global network in a huge research effort that could lead to promising new approaches to tackle the disease. Helena Carter went to Switzerland to find out more. I think one of the hardest things for me was when she, um, I got married and she, she knew my husband and then she couldn't recognize him um, the next time we went to visit. Um, and she was just wondering who is this man in the living room. Anna Maria's grandma was diagnosed with Alzheimer's when the disease was already in its advanced stages. When everything changed, it was like not knowing who she was anymore and the heartbreak of knowing that she didn't know who we were sometimes. And all those memories, where do they go? Roche, the world's largest biotech company, is dedicated to finding complete solutions for Alzheimer's disease. To achieve this, they're combining their unique expertise across their diagnostics and pharmaceuticals divisions. So what does the ideal treatment pathway for Alzheimer's disease look like? What it looks like is giving people the ability to detect if they think something's going wrong, giving their doctors tools in which to evaluate patients' symptoms, bringing in people who are at risk for Alzheimer's disease or in the early stages, and designing new treatments specifically for them and their stage of disease. Also, tools to monitor how they're doing over time, and decision tools to help clinicians decide when they need a change of any kind in the therapy. So ultimately, our vision is complete solutions for patients to either prevent or treat Alzheimer's disease, no matter what stage of disease they have. Each year, there are nearly 10 million new cases of dementia. Worldwide, dementia affects around 50 million people. And by 2050, that number is set to increase. Roche wants to make sure patients across the world can access early diagnostic tools so they can eventually benefit from new treatments that may change the course of their disease. The exact cause of Alzheimer's is still unknown, but what is known is that changes take place in the brain decades before the disease starts to impact a person's life. Special lab tests to check for these brain changes via spinal fluid are available in several countries. And in the future, it may be possible to complement this with a blood test to check for Alzheimer's at a general practitioner's office. We've seen research come through recently that suggests that we may be able to develop simple blood tests to detect Alzheimer's disease. And because this is such a, a, a big challenge, it's really important to work collaboratively across the field, including industry partners, um, philanthropy partners and our very strong academic partners to work together to really advance and accelerate the availability of simple blood tests so that people around the world can have reassurance that what's going on is something that they need to take further. All research carried out is important. Even studies of potential treatments that don't work out may contribute to finding a solution. A failed clinical trial is one where you didn't learn anything. And fortunately, we have very few or, or, or none of those. Rather, we have a lot of clinical trials that have uh, failed to achieve maybe the endpoint that they set out to do to, to cure the disease or to have a really meaningful impact on slowing the disease. But every single past clinical trial we've done has given us some really important learnings that we are leveraging today. For these advancements to continue, an integrated approach is critical. It's extremely important that the private sector and the public sector come together. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle, and if we want to find a solution, everybody has to work together. And the final pieces of the jigsaw are within arm's reach. I feel very hopeful that the progress that we have made is leading us to an ultimate set of solutions for patients. Hope felt by all at Roche and by millions across the world.